but we do start in Wayne County where taxpayers could be asked to foot the bill for $49 million owed to the Employee Pension Fund. The plan calls for a one-time property tax increase of 1.23 mills. However, many Wayne County commissioners oppose that idea. The county could also take money from its delinquent tax revolving fund, which is used to cover costs while delinquent taxes are being collected. Now, as we tape the show, an expected vote on the plan by the commissioners has not yet taken place, but that is where we begin our discussion with our My Week contributors, Nolan Finley of the Detroit News, Stephen Henderson of the Detroit Free Press Gentlemen, it's always good to see you, but when I hear, hey, let's, uh, let's have the taxpayers foot yet another bill in Wayne County, I say, where is all the money going to come from? Nolan, let me start with you. Well, it's their debt. I mean, it's, that bill belongs to the taxpayers of Wayne County. You own your government, and you're responsible, by the way, when the people you elect screw up. And Bob Ficano screwed up badly on this when he was county executive in betting that he could get away with not paying that 13th check. Now, the 13th check was a, was ridiculous. It was a, one more union giveaway in Wayne County. And Bob Ficano was right that this was an abusive uh, uh, policy. But the Supreme Court said, you owe it. You agreed to pay it. You'd been paying it. You owe it. And so when the county owes something, the taxpayers owe something. And these commissioners who, who want to try to shirk that and, and get off pain free are doing what Wayne County politicians have always done, kicking the problem up the road, uh, putting it off into the future for somebody else to pay. But ultimately, it belongs to the taxpayers. They, they're better off just paying it cleanly in one shot and getting this debt gone. All right, so if you have a house that's worth $100,000, you're saying it would be about $62 that the taxpayer would have to pay. But, Stephen, I'm thinking $62 about... $62 a year. $62 a year. But I'm thinking about all of the times that Wayne County's been trying to collect property tax anyway, and they're already having a problem getting the money from people. Well, that's a, I mean, that's a great point. The, the delinquency, especially in the city of Detroit, is, is quite high, partially because taxes are, are so high. But, but no one's right. You know... Uh, the government decided to, to to structure these pensions the way they did with that 13th check. Where were these commissioners who are so upset about paying it now when we were talking about the structure of pensions, when we were talking about the 13th check? These are all these are all rules and uh, uh, regulations that that government has control of, and we lost control in Wayne County a long time ago over these things started promising people things that were really great for them and I you know I would never suggest that that people are you know uh, shouldn't have healthy pensions or shouldn't have retiree health care but you got to match that need with the, the the resources that you have and we have not done that in Wayne no. County we've been promising things that we would never be able to afford and now the bills do well what, why not take it from this revolving tax fund well because that's just another shift that'll have to be repaid you that'll to get hurt that the credit rating there. so that if you do have to go out to bond and you will to finish the, the jail your borrowing costs go way up it's bad fiscal policy but the voters of Wayne County have been going into the polls for decades and yanking the donkey's tail, putting in uh, union puppets into positions in Wayne County. Uh, the UAW, A AFLCO have run the county for decades, and this is the consequence. Elections have consequences, and Wayne County voters are finding out what well, those are, just as Inkster voters. So, so are. I don't, I don't, I don't <coughs> fault the unions. Obviously, I mean the unions are are there to advocate for their members and sure. to advocate for a decent standard of living. For people while they work and in retirement there's nothing wrong with that they didn't do anything wrong what was the problem was that you had government go along with requests that that, that we weren't going to be able to afford or that we might have been able to afford if we had uh, structured taxes differently and generated more revenue but it doesn't make any sense to say well we'll pay you all this stuff and then you know, when, when it comes up, we don't have the money. But, Steve, uh, in Wayne County, government and the unions have been mm -hmm. one and the same thing. When well, I first started we elect covering... that. I, and that's what I'm saying. That's why we have to pay it. I covered Wayne County Commission years ago when, uh, you know, they would, call, they would adjourn uh, on a tough vote and go caucus in the corners, one group with the AFL-CIO, one group with the UAW, to, be, to see how they should vote. I mean, the unions ran this county, and they ran it into the ground. Well, it's, uh, you know... Other places, you see corporations uh, and private interests with that kind of I'll influence. I'll put my money there. That's well. I mean, the idea of special interest controlling government is problematic. Mm -hmm. no, you won't get an argument out of me about that. I just don't see why the unions are any different from any other special interest. The point is, government should be able to control and check those interests when what they're asking for is not in the interest of the people. So are we looking at bottom line that this is just bad government all the way around in sure. Wayne County? And how are people ever going to how how are people in Wayne County ever going to get 
out from underneath it then? Well, one, you elect better politicians. I, you know, I wasn't a big Warren Evans fan going in. I'm very impressed with sort of the gumption he's showing, the courage he's showing, standing up to the unions, putting in a real tough medicine plan in place, uh, bringing Wayne County to the reality that you can't put this off anymore. You've got to fix these problems. His recovery plan is a decent plan. It acknowledges the fact that we're not going to get out of this overnight, and it takes a long view of it. Wayne County is 10 to 15 years getting out of this hole. All right, last word on this, Steve. I, I think you need something more drastic. I, don't, I mean, I think his plan is, is wonderful, but it counts on nothing going wrong. It counts on things going as he projects them. That's not going to happen. We're going to need something more dramatic to happen. All right, and the commissioners are taking that vote later on this afternoon.